Welcome everyone to Carol's Art Room. I'm going to do some blooms today on a 6x6 six six tile. I'm going to use my Glidden Premium. You can see the consistency. It's fairly thin, it barely makes a mound. See if I can do some negative space today. So this is uh, white eggshell paint. Acts as a pillow for the bloom technique. You pour your colors on top of it. So I'm just gonna spread it out like this. So I've got some uh, turquoise blues and some magenta today. So the first one that I'm going to lay down is Bahama Blue by Decawart. Paints are, should be same consistency or thinner than your pillow. I'm going to add a little bit of my water and varnish to thin them down. This is, uh, I'm sure this one's an opaque paint, so I'm putting it on the bottom. I like to put opaque on the bottom or on the top. Okay, so that's Bahama Blue. one I have is Bibio, Bibio Blue Green. Next one I have, I'm going to put some, uh, this one is a pigment, which is um, Fairy Floss by this little piggy. Love this color. Let's see how thick it is. It needs a little bit of varnish and water. That's a lot better. on here but I'm just trying to keep it small but that doesn't seem to be working and then the next one I have is mermaid this little piggy actually you know what I'm gonna put that one on top I, mm, should I I like to separate my pigments so this one is um Oh, this one is um, oh blue violet ir pibio iridescent blue violet. little piggy mermaid on the top. See how that goes. I got a uh, black cell activator.
You know what I think I might do? I'm gonna put a little bit of this um, Bahama blue on top. I'll probably get some peacock cells. Black cell activator, oxide black, and Australian Floatron. Here's my mini blower. Straight down first. Woo! That's beautiful. I'm also going to do these colors. I'm going to do one in another video with white cell activator. See how that comes out. But that's pretty nice. Good to remember my remember my order of paints. I'll let the uh, middle. back to level. I think it's good. It's going to be nice and shiny with the pink and the turquoise pigments in here. Still moving. I'm losing a lot of my edges, but 
that's because I put quite a bit of paint on. If I put less paint, it should be a little better. There, that's so pretty. You know what, I think I'll do another one for you and I'll use the same colors and I'll try and put it in a different order and see what we get. And maybe I'll try less paint. Just clean off my bottom. That should be good now. Let's try one more. Two big tablespoons should be good. Oops, my finger in there. That's okay. All right, let's just put some color now. This one I'm going to put on the bottom again, the Bahama Blue bit smaller. Um, I did want to separate the two magentas this time, so. Put them in the, this is PBO. Iridescent blue violet. Then I'll put the uh, blue green by Pebio, which seems a bit thick, so I'm going to add my water. Piggy Mermaid. And this little piggy. No, that's this little piggy fairy floss. Sorry. This one's mermaid. So I just separated the two pinks this time. I'm going to add a little bit of this on the top again. Oh, I was going to use white, and I'll do that in another video. Today is black, black cell activator. I don't use white cell activator very often. But... Okay. Let's 
see what we get. Right down in the middle. This is pretty also. Let the middle come back. You get two for one. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. That would be awesome. Give me a thumbs up. Comment below if you have any questions. I can answer your questions. I've been doing this for a very long time. So I should know a few things that I can help you with if you're just beginning this journey and also have a uh, discount code for the Shelly Art uh, course she has who invented this technique the bloom technique and there's a discount code for the course on underneath my video hit the title of my video and you'll get a drop down and there's a code there for 15% off all right, so let's uh, modify this. Oops. <laughs> let's see what we get here. not that much different than the other one. And all I did was chain as split, spread out the pinks a little bit. But I like sometimes to make two similar ones like a pair. find some four by four tiles. I can't seem to find any, but I gotta do some more searching. All right, I'm gonna spin this. This one's got a little bit of negative space. Just gonna push it this way a little bit. It's stuck. Oops. No, it's gonna stay there. <laughs> I think it's stuck.
my spinner is a cake spinner. Everybody seems to ask about my spinner. This one's a cake spinner and it's metal when I get it from Amazon. The metal ones are nice and quiet. They spin nicely. Okay, so this is good. There we go. I'm not sure if I'll have the dried results ready for this video, but it'll be in the next video. So uh, have a good day, everyone. Hi, I just thought I would show you both of them together. They look very similar. This one has a little more of the pink showing, but yes, they're both very pretty. Have a good day. Bye-bye.